today, uh, a US-UK commentator, who looks at this in a sense because of your American perspective, Sarah, with a, through a different prism. What do you make of it? Oh, my goodness, it's theatre. It feels like watching Shakespeare. I mean, this is... Uh, this is brutal, you know. We always think the Brits are so nice from their accent, but when it comes to their politics, this is House of Cards at its best. I mean, it's, I have to say, um, I found it at times disrespectful to the Prime Minister with the tone and the aggression that was directed at it and the personal attacks, as you said. Um, in other ways, um, I, I had sympathy for the Prime Minister because what bad luck to have this on this very day. Um, but at the same time, you know, he this has been building up for months and months and he is the prime minister. He is in charge. Um, the behavior in number 10 kind of trickles from the head and as does the rest of government. So he has to, you know, defend himself and his actions. And, and maybe this is democracy at its finest. That's, that's an interesting perspective, isn't it? Lembit Opik, the former Liberal Democrat MP, has joined us here in the studio. Uh, Lembit, welcome to you. Thanks. I, I'm, a, I'm very open about this. I'm a... I'm a leaver. I appreciate, as many millions of uh, leave-voting Britons do, that Boris Johnson did an amazing job in getting Brexit over the line. But it's quite a thing, isn't it, to listen to the liaison committee. And around that table of select committee chairmen and women, he nearly had a friend. He used to. Let's remember the Conservative Party, and you might agree with this, is the most effective electoral machine in the world. They used... Boris Johnson to win loads of seats that no other Conservative leader could possibly have rested off the Labour Party. But now he's a spent force because he can't do it again. Uh, you might feel sorry for him. Uh, as a friend, I, I feel sympathy for him. But remember, I used to be a party leader in, in uh, Wales, a very successful time for the party, but I could sense when it was time to move on. Everyone can see, even non-politicians can see, that he's in a mess now. He's not got any credibility in his own party and got very little in the country. 